So today we're going to take a look at auto deployment in IMC. There's actually a couple different mechanisms to accomplish auto deployment within IMC. There's the BIMS module, the Branch Intelligent Management System. It leverages TR069 functionality in the networking device to automatically deploy configurations to devices. And there's auto deployment plan within the configuration center. It doesn't really rely much of anything in the networking device and that's what we're going to focus on in today's video. You can look for a BIMS video on this channel. So what is auto deployment? Auto deployment it simply means that we're going to deploy configurations and settings and software, etc., to a device as it enters the network with little to no human intervention. One of the more interesting use cases for this is a distributed environment where your technical resources out of the branches are scarce or non-existent. With auto deployment, you can deploy switches out of the network without relying on any technical talent out there. You would just need somebody to plug it into the appropriate ports to get network access and then the auto deployment configuration would do the rest for you. Another great use of this feature is large rollouts. So imagine you can pre-configure and pre-stage all your devices before you've actually pulled them out of the box rather than sending technicians to the closets or plugging a console cable into the devices before they're deployed. Additionally, break fix is a lot easier with auto deployment. You can have uh, you can avoid delays by having the the replacement device shipped directly to where it needs to be, and then have the configuration already set up and ready to go, so that when somebody on that site plugs it in, it gets its final configuration. So it's a real dynamic and useful tool, and we'll do a little walkthrough right now and show you IMC's auto deployment plan. So we'll start by navigating to the service menu, configuration center, and select out a deployment plan within the configuration center. Uh, the first thing we'll do in the configuration center is add an auto deployment plan. Not much here, just, just a name and an optional description. Once the auto deployment plan is created, we can create an auto deployment device, and that's where the, uh, things really get started. So we'll click this link to add an auto deployment device. While I'm going through some of the resources I'm pulling, uh, selecting here are coming from libraries. I'll select those libraries on the left so you kind of know where those are coming from. And as far as the configuration file to deploy, that's the file that's going to be deployed on the switch, the final configuration file. The parameters I've listed here are actual variables that are in the, the template. This way the template can be used for a number of switches. Uh, with specific information for each switch. And those parameters can be anything you want them to. They're just variables that you'd put in the template. I selected software to deploy. That's an option. Uh, it's an optional uh, setting. Uh, it'll, it'll actually serve to baseline the software as the switch comes up on the network, which is a nice feature so that you've got consistent software throughout. The same CLI script. I can select a CLI script and IMC will go in and shoot a script into the switch after the configuration has been deployed. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility in how you use this and how you reuse this. The device basic information I'm entering now uh, determines how IMC is going to recognize, discover, and trigger the auto deployment. In this case, I'm matching on a MAC address, which is required if you're going to do zero touch auto deployment. So the factory default switch is going to come up. Uh, it'll request uh, TFTP on boot, which many switches do by default. Uh, we'll point that TFTP via DHCP options to IMC. IMC will recognize the MAC address, and that's what will trigger the zero-touch auto-deployment. We could also trigger off of the IP address and then rely on IMC's auto-discovery to discover the device to trigger the deployment. Beyond that, while I've been talking, I've also been typing. Uh, adding in some of the other settings, the device settings uh, are, are just the the settings that kind of define how it's grouped and labeled within IMC. You will see that I, I selected SSH for the login type. That way this switch will be secure once it's deployed. Uh, it'll use SSH, SSH and SFTP. So now it's all done. Uh, it's sitting there waiting for execution. And we'll move on to the next step, which is to plug in the factory default switch. So now the, the device has entered the network. It's initially been booted up from factory default right out of the box. And you can see that it's uh, the, the process has started. 
uh, deployed the uh, configuration and now rebooting the device. And we'll kind of jump ahead a little bit to the finish because it'll go through a number of uh, number of processes based on what you've put in the plan. So just like that, Bob is your uncle, and auto deployment finished operation has succeeded. So now, now we can see that the deployment's been successful. Uh, our, uh, our switch is now up and running on the network, fully deployed. We can look at the execution results to kind of dig down and see the steps that it went through. That's kind of a nice feature. If, if you set this up and there's an issue with it that's useful for troubleshooting, it'll tell you kind of where, where something went wrong. Uh, and that's that's nice. So we went through and did a manual auto deployment, and that was you know went through all the steps so you could see all the fields. Uh, but if you're deploying a ton of devices, that's not the most convenient way to do it. You can actually import a CSV file with the exact same granularity, the same settings, all passed through a, a comma separated values file. You know, a simple Excel spreadsheet, and just like that, with a few clicks, I've uh, I've imported 20 devices into the auto deployment plan. So um, so that's that's basically it. Now all these devices are waiting to execute. Uh, I should mention that we, we did a zero touch auto deployment where it's going to match on the Mac, but you can also put the current IP address in there. And then the little green arrow here, you could manually trigger an auto deployment based on the IP address and it would start pushing the software, the config, CLI files, etc. Or you can do it on the IP address and then use the uh, auto discovery mechanism within IMC uh, to go out and discover devices on the network. Once it discovers that IP address, it's going to see it and say, hey, I've got an auto deployment device matching that IP and it'll trigger the auto deployment device that way. So there's, there's